just uh, um, highly disappointed. Really uh, thought our kids played their hearts out. So proud of their effort and their toughness and the grit that they showed throughout the game. And, and uh, really, uh, man, just getting near the end there. You got to finish. You know, we got to finish these ball games out. And, and, uh, um, but uh, to go on the road against this opponent in this venue, uh, tough place to play and, and uh, top 20 team and had our chance and uh, let them off the hook. So that's on us. It's on me as head coach. Take responsibility for that. And I'm just really proud of our team. Questions? Coach, you guys got inside the 20 twice, failed to score a touchdown. Just mm-hmm. take us through those processes, especially the one first and 10 from the 11. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you go through and, uh, you know, obviously I don't, I don't, uh, um, I watch all those plays and I'm involved with uh, what they're calling um, on the headsets, um, but uh, um, just didn't, didn't get the ball in the end zone, man. You got to score points. You got to score touchdowns. You know, and I, we know that, and and didn't do it. And uh, I thought the last time, especially there, when we had that opportunity to get to get the, uh, you know, like you just mentioned, first first and goal or first first down on the, the eleven. Um, just need a touchdown there. Field goals are you know good to a point, but not not that point. So we got to got to score touchdowns. It's so. like they got, got a little conservative. You know, I mean, I, I think both sides did. You know, I mean, I, you know, we we knew it was a. Obviously, it was a, you know, possession type game, you know, and you're just both defenses are playing really well and and uh, um, both offenses just don't want to turn the ball over, you know, and and so yeah, yeah, you might do that a little bit. But at the same time, I don't I don't mind playing that way, you know, when you're just trying to win the game, you know, that to me is what the objective is. And so um, I just think that. uh, you know, that, that's a possibility. But I think you, you know, I, I told our guys, you know, just our defense is playing really well. Just protect the football, keep kicking field goals if we have to, and, and we'll just go find a way to beat them. So um, just it's a couple third downs there at the end. Wish we had back. Coach, was the last uh, run by LJ Scott, was that designed to let him score? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the only chance we had, you know. So we just, uh, that allows us to be down by eight. So you get a chance to score because if you if you don't, then you just they're going to eat the clock. You know, we, we were afraid they were going to just take a knee, you know, and, and just milk milk it that way, you know. So, but uh, um, I personally have never done that before, you know, in a game. But uh, that was exactly what you you should do, you know, for, to give yourself a chance, you know, to go score a touchdown and go for two to tie it up. It's the only chance we had. Yeah, that's really uh, man for sure, no doubt, you know. So. Um, have to talk to you know our folks and see where we're at with all that. But boy, those guys are they're beat up. You mentioned the two third downs on that last drive, but they also had the, after Covington sack. No, that's sack the one I was really talking about. That third and nineteen, golly, and that's you know I, I don't I don't like the call that I made, and that's my fault. It's on me, so I own that. So um, I just but you know you try always trying to mix things up and you know, whatever, but it didn't work. So I just really that's the that's the one I really that's the one that's going to really bother me. So, excuse me. I don't know. I really don't. You know, I know he had ice pack on his leg, so I, I don't know the update. With the lack of a, a deep passing game in the last two games, is there any you know thought of putting Rich in just to loosen up that defense and give him a threat of a deep ball? You know, n- not t- today. You know, we'll make those have those discussions. You know, and uh, per the situation, if we feel like we got to do something like that, we'll do what we got to do to win the game. You know, so but uh, Rich is on standby, ready to go. I know that. Yeah, he did. Played hard. I thought the whole defense played their tails off. You know, so proud of them. They played tough, tough, tough. Physical. You know, they tried to hunk it at us, and and uh, our guys just bowed up. You know, so um, proud of our team, man. These kids, man. There's a lot of fighting these guys. And we played a hard schedule now. Really hard schedule. And we ain't backing down from nobody. So we're gonna keep coming. No, no, I don't. I mean, you know, bottom line is, is sure, it's hard. You know, we, you know, haven't found ways to win these close ones. It, it hurts. Um, but no, I believe in this football team. I believe in the character that they have and the character of our staff. And, and uh, yeah, the, it, it hurts. It'll hurt tonight and it'll hurt tomorrow. Um, but once we meet and talk it through and watch it all, we'll, we'll come back and, and we'll get ready for Maryland. Well, first of all, he's highly respected, you know, and the guy comes as a walk-on and, and uh, just does everything that you ask him to do. So, you know, you want to see a kid like that do well. And, uh, you know, even like last year, you know, in the bowl game, he just makes plays, you know, and uh, 
has just a lot of toughness to him and uh, maximizes everything the good Lord gave him, you know. So, um, but uh, proud of him and, and his ability to make those key plays. But, yeah, he's, he's an inspiration to a lot of guys on our team. Absolutely. And we, we tried to get him to go, and we brought him, and, and it was a game-time decision, and he just couldn't go, you know. So, yeah, it's a big loss with him, without him in there. I think not just in the red zone, in all the zones. You saw what I saw. I didn't play with anybody. Sure. I believe in this team. When, when the offense came out, it seemed like the targets were seeing pops. There were quite a few targets seeing pops, but mm-hmm. they won. They, it looked like they dwindled. Was that by design or is that how they how the team was? No, I mean, I think they're, you know, obviously he's a huge, uh, you know, got a big target on his back. They all know who he is and double cover him and, 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 and make it hard sometimes to get him the football. So, um, yeah, we obviously try to get to him as much as we can. He's, you know, a great player. and. And uh, um, so, yeah, we're trying to try to get in the ball on that, on that last throw, you know. And so, quarterback got hit as he was throwing. So, but yeah, you try and get your ball, get the ball to the guys that can that can make plays. He's one of those. He may be. Yeah, he may be. I, I, I got to get all the data. We don't know yet for sure. It hasn't been a final thing. He had surgery, and and uh, I'll know more probably this week on that. So, but uh, it doesn't look good. The three quarters. I mean, Whitehead might have been your MVP. Hmm. Yeah. Just talk about the way you play. Yeah, you know, just golly, that's that's such a big part of the game. You know, you know, when we went out and and uh, to get him and to sign him, you know, I I envisioned him doing this kind of thing, you know, for us, and and uh, just so proud of him, you know, how well he's developed, and and uh, if you know the kid, he's you know being the first time in this country and away from home, halfway across the world, literally, um, that's tough. You know, and, and then him to play football here and get involved in the schedule and the grind and all the stuff that you do. And, and uh, you just don't know how he's going to react to all that. And so um, really, really encouraged. And we made a good decision to sign him. And so I'm uh, really, really proud of him and, and excited he played well. And uh, it didn't really, that doesn't surprise me because that's how he kicks every day. Time for a couple more. Yeah, you know, I, I'll go back and watch. I, I don't see every play, you know. Sometimes we're on the back with the with the defense, and and so uh, I know that was something we've really been working on from after last week's game. You know, we had a couple chances on the goal line there that that uh, didn't get the read that we would like, and so been working on it. I'm going to continue to work on it, but uh, um, so he's got to, you know, I'll I'll know more when I watch the film. That hurts. Yeah, I mean they're number five team defensive team in the country. I mean, they had something to do with it, you know. So, I mean, they're a good football team now, especially on that side of the football. And uh, so, um, tough sledding in there against that crew. So, it's just, you know, if, we, if you turn those three drives into touchdowns and you score 21 points, you, know, you feel a lot different, for, obviously. But um, they make it hard, and they get harder as you get closer to the goal line. So, I'm not going to sit here and act like that, uh, um, you know, that we've got some concerns and we're, we're really beat up for sure, and uh, that's taken its toll without question, but no excuses. This is the next man up, and, and, uh, but we've also played some really good football teams. So. On that, on the first touchdown, the guy got open. Was that just a new kick? Just a kick no, he just, he, he, you know, they beat our corner, you know, and uh, he's got to make that play. I'm talking about our guy, you know, so we are playing man. And uh, he was cheating on one route, and the guy ran another. And uh, he knows where his help is, and so he didn't play to his help. So we got to, you know, I, I was disappointed. And I, I, didn't, I didn't think our secondary played, especially on the edge, on the perimeter, like we've been playing for sure, and especially at some critical times. You know, they did a lot of great things, but it's the critical times. I didn't feel we were at our best, and we got to be. We don't have a lot of margin for error.